Okay guys, I am so ready to tackle this closet. There's a lot of purging, a lot of decluttering, and a lot of organizing that needs to happen. So I am ready. I have some new clothes that I just got. So what I kind of want to do is declutter and kind of refresh my closet and get it just looking a little bit better for before the fall and the winter hits. It's just, it's getting overwhelming. I have way too much stuff and I'm ready to declutter purge and give this closet a complete makeover and refresh. This honestly ended up being one of the most satisfying projects that I have done in a while and I cannot wait for you to see how everything turned out in the end. I am just so happy with the closet declutter, makeover, and refresh. I went through all of those. I have my three piles, giveaway, try on, keep, and then all of the hangers. Um, I am now gonna go through those. Those are like dresses and stuff. And then all of these, and then I'll remove all the rest of my stuff. And then I'll bring Mike in to go through his stuff. If you've never been to my channel, I'm Jamie, and I hope that by watching this video, you feel motivated to maybe declutter and organize some area in your home. And please say hi if you're new, or even if you've, you know, you've been to my channel before, say hi. I just hope that we can all kind of create a community in the comment section and help each other be friends. But yeah, I would love for you guys to say hi, and I'm so glad you're here. So this is, this is like a huge bag and I feel like the camera does not do it justice how much is in here. Here's all of the white hangers. These are all the clothes that I want to go try on. So I'm going to go do that right now. And then these are all of the colored hangers. I think I got some white ones in here. Um, and then out here, <laughs> it's a lot, but it's organized chaos right now. So what I'm gonna do, so while I'm getting rid of a lot of my old clothes, I'm gonna try on some of my new clothes, see what looks good, see what fits, and then try on some of the clothes that I'm like on the fence with, and then we'll start organizing and putting things back. If you have never shopped at ThreadUp before, I definitely recommend going on their website and just checking things out, especially before fall because I was able to find a lot of great things for myself and my kids. I especially love getting a deal on my kids' clothing and shoes, coats, and accessories because they don't wear things for too long. And I was just blown away by how much stuff they have on their website. It is the largest online thrift store and they sell thrifted clothing by all of your favorite name brands like J. Crew, Gap, Gap Kids, Express, North Face, and Under Armour. And when you purchase off of their website, you can get up to 90% off of the estimated retail price. And what's even better is ThreadUp is offering my viewers a special discount for 30% off of your first order. All you have to do is click the link in my description box or use the code Jamie at checkout. 
One of my favorite things about shopping on ThreadUp, it's just so easy to browse. You can filter by size, price, brand, and it's just, it's so easy to search for whatever you're looking for. One of my favorite ways to search is I will specifically put in what I'm looking for and it's just easy to shop as opposed to if I was at a thrift store, um, you know, sifting through all of those clothes. So if you need something specifically, like I was looking for more light wash jeans, I just put it in there in the search bar and I can also search by brand. So specifically, I was looking for American Eagle jeans because those are one of my favorite brands and I know how they fit me and I know what size I am there. So I can just search by all of that right there. Just want to quickly show you some of my favorite pieces that i received in this order and the discount that i got i got these 1822 jeans that are distressed on the bottom and throughout the legs and they're super comfortable the estimated retail price was 36 dollars and i got them for 13 dollars 58 i think this j crew jacket might be my favorite the estimated retail price is $148 and I got it for $32.99 and I cannot wait to wear this all fall long. Another one of my favorites were these Sam Edelman ankle boots that retail for $71 and I got them for $12.99. I got this beautiful sweater that will be perfect for the fall. It's from Hollister and it retails for $50 and I got it for $16.80. Express is one of my go-to and favorite stores, so I was browsing a lot of the Express sweaters for the fall, and I got this one for $9.99, and it retails for $50. I also want to quickly show you a couple things that I got for my kids. Avery loves this little Old Navy romper. She seriously has been wearing it every day. I got it for $8.80. I also got her a North Face coat for $20.99, and then a winter coat for the twins, for $7.70 and I could not get Emery to sit still for you guys. So go check out the ThreadUp website. Save yourself some money when you're shopping for the fall and the winter for yourself or for your kids like I did. And as you're shopping, don't forget you have a 30% off coupon code off of your first order. It is Jamie at checkout. This is 30% off of their already marked down prices on their website. Thank you to ThreadUp for partnering with me on this video and giving my viewers a great discount. Okay, so these are all the clothes that I'm keeping out of that pile, and these are all the clothes that I'm going to donate. And honestly, I think once I start putting away all of the clothes that I know I'm keeping, I'll probably still get rid of some things. You know, I kind of forgot as I was trying things on, truly, you know, like how many pair of jeans I have and all of that. So I know that once I start putting things back, and grouping like jeans and t-shirts and stuff, I'll probably still get rid of a few other things. But, but what I'm gonna do now is remove all of these hangers and then deep clean this closet before I put things up. So clearing everything out of here really gave me the opportunity to go in and deep clean the closet. Obviously we had a lot of things on the ground before so it wasn't very often that I would come in here and actually clean. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever come in here and vacuumed the baseboards, cleaned the baseboards. I've never vacuumed the entire closet, maybe when we first moved in. So it needed to be done and they were pretty gross just so gross wait till you see how much dust and probably pet hair had accumulated on the white baseboards so it definitely felt really good and really satisfying to get in here and clean every inch of the closet
So just a question to kind of get to know you guys a little bit better, but I said earlier that Express is one of my favorite stores to shop at, probably Express, Old Navy, and American Eagle. What store do you love shopping at? Like what's your go-to store when you need some clothes? Okay, so I have a nice and clean closet, vacuumed, and all of the clothes are out. Mike went through his clothes. This is what is left. Um, he, I forgot to have him go up here, but he's with the girls right now. So um, I'll have him take care of that here in a little bit. And like I said, I'm keeping all of these up there for right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is go and bring my other clothes back in and start hanging them up before I go and declutter my dresser drawers because I might end up putting some things in the dresser that I had in here before or vice versa. Um, but obviously I know that there's gonna be a lot of things that can be hung up and I wanna take care of those, get rid of those, get them hung up here because I need to make some room <laughs> before I go through my dresser. So more clothes to go through i'm realizing i just have way too much I, I want you to see it just for tonight i want to believe so it felt so good to purge and declutter my closet and I do plan to do this with my kids closets here soon. I had gotten some new things for them from ThreadUp and I know I'm going to be doing some more shopping because they are growing um, but I kind of want to go through their closets to figure out you know what they need, what what still fits them and all of that so I do plan to do this which I feel like that'll be a, another huge project but if you want to see me film that let me know in the comment section um, if you guys want to see it I'll definitely film their closet makeovers as well So I know a lot of people, I've watched some other videos on closet decluttering and organizing and a lot of people will um, put their clothes in like rainbow order and make it look, look a little nicer. I kind of like to take a different approach when I organize my clothes. So I kind of organize it based on the type of shirt because it's almost like if I'm just hanging around the house and I want to be super casual, just want to put on something like like one of these tank tops, you know, I go right here and this is what I'm looking for. Um, if I wanna look a little bit nicer, you know, I have some short sleeve shirts here that like if I'm going out to dinner with Mike or something or even like with my tank tops. So here are all of my tank tops, but these are like my casual, like around the house, um, like running out to the store. Sometimes I sleep in these. And then over here I have like my nicer tank tops, I guess you could say. Again, Mike and I are going out to dinner or something and I want to look a little bit nicer. I can come right here and say, okay, what do I have? Oh, that shouldn't be in there. Um, like if we're going out to dinner and I'm like, okay, what do I have? What do I want to wear? Um, like I come right here instead of just having them all in rainbow color order. You know, I kind of group it based on the event, I guess. 
um, same thing over here. Like I have, these are like my super big, like the best, my most comfiest pants ever. So if it's like, I don't even care how I look, I don't care if I'm sloppy, I just wanna be comfy like in the winter, Th that's that pile. Um, those are my joggers. And then I even have like two different types of leggings. So like these are very old and worn, but I just love them. They're so comfortable. And these are like more of like my workout leggings. Um, they're in a little bit nicer condition, that type of thing. So I group all of my clothes based on uh, the event or what I'm feeling that day and how I want to. Still feel. moving along. I'm gonna fold. I started folding my jeans <sighs> and then and then I'm gonna go and go through there and then we'll do the shoes and then we'll organize the shoes and get the closet back put together this organizing project is no joke feeling tired I feel like I've been working so many hours but I'm in the home stretch I'm almost done and it's just gonna be so freeing when I can see everything I'm able to get rid of. So I'm sitting here going through this basket and like some of these shoes you guys are so old like I have not worn these in years I mean look how old I don't know if the camera will pick it up but it's like there we go full of dust so old like why why did I even keep these I don't even know why I've kept all of this that long but I'm pretty much I mean chucking just so old like why chucking this whole basket <laughs> So I wanted to go through all of my accessories, purses, bags, and all of that that I keep in my closet. And then I was going to go in and organize my shoes. You obviously saw that we already had one of those white shoe racks. And then when I was at Target a couple days before I filmed this, I grabbed one. So it kind of worked out that, that I was able to find the exact same shoe rack because that shoe rack that we had is years, years old. So I was kind of glad I was able to find the same one. And I was trying to figure out how to place all of the shoes in there at first, like I wasn't sure. And I placed all, the, all of my shoes, but then I didn't have a place for my boots and the boots kind of have to go on the top. And I thought about hanging them. I've done that before. If you get the hanger with, with the little clips in them, you can clip it to the top of the boot and then hang it. But I just really didn't like the look of it. So I ended up rearranging the shoes and finding a better way to put all of them there. So Mike came in and put his hats up here and <laughs> I better tell you guys, this is not a marijuana leaf. It is a Buckeye leaf. We are Ohio State Buckeye fans. Uh, we are big Ohio State football fans, big Ohio State fans in general. I never even thought about it, but then last fall I posted a picture and I was wearing a shirt with the Buckeye leaf on it and so were the twins. And I posted it on Instagram and I was getting so many comments about people thought that it was a marijuana leaf. I mean, it's not really my thing and uh, even funnier is that my kids were wearing it. Obviously I would never put my kids in that. So it ended up being really funny to me and it's just something like I didn't even see coming. So I just want to tell you, Buckeye leaf. But I had bought this off of Amazon to organize Mike's hats because he had a ton, but he ended up decluttering a lot of the hats that he had. I know he still has a lot. Um, he's a hat guy. But because I ended up getting rid of a lot of clothes, 
I had a ton of sweatshirts up here that are no longer here. So I feel like it looks nice this way. And even though this would help organize it a little bit better, I just feel like I don't like the cluttered look of this with all of his clothes. So I think it looks better like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through, and I also want to go through my workout drawer because the other stuff in here is just really not even that bad. Um, these are like t-shirts and they're already nicely folded. And then over here I just have like my shorts and even though they're not nicely folded, in about a month I'm gonna go ahead and switch these out and put them up in my closet just with the change of the seasons and I'll bring out my sweaters. So honestly, I'll probably declutter some of these um, but I'm not going to refold them, but I want to take care of this one and this one mainly. And then this just has like bathing suits and stuff in it, which again will all be out of here in about a month, which is crazy. You came along, couldn't look away. Somehow you turned my life completely upside down And since you've been gone There's no peace of mind A foolish heart and healing Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do since I have like three sections I have my running shorts or I have my workout shorts workout tanks and then sports bras I think I'm gonna get some of those expandable drawer dividers and put them here and then that way I can keep everything kind of organized um, I felt like it was hard to fold these so I just rolled them and I feel like I, it makes it easier because I can see all of the shirts um, a little bit better doesn't look perfect but definitely created more room and now I can kind of see everything that I get in here so I'm gonna go ahead and order some expandable drawer organizers and we'll see if it comes in in time I can put it in here if not um, I'll show you guys like over on Instagram or something but I think this will work until I get those in so like I said this is like my t-shirt so like t-shirt t-shirts like, I don't wear very often um, but they're just one of those things where you have to have right everyone has them and I did the Kanmari way of folding them and Here is the after. <laughs> so I just folded those in a little nicer of a way and I was able to get rid of everything else in here. So, so much more space. So it is obviously much later. Took my makeup off, got into some more comfy clothes and I'm gonna show you the end result. Show you everything we are getting rid of, donating, throwing away, it's a lot. And show you the reveal, what our closet looks like now. So this is everything that we're going to be donating. This is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Especially this does not do it justice. How much clothes? This is one of Mike's bags from the garage. It's massive. I don't know how big it is, but a lot of clothes, a lot of clothes in there. And then over here is everything that we'll be throwing out or recycling. So a lot of, a lot of garbage, a lot of junk, a lot of stuff to be given away. My head, another town, another bed. And no matter what I do, I'm still gonna be. Oh, and don't forget to go check out Thread Up. Check out their website, see what they have, and use code Jamie for 30% off of your first order. So 
think one of my favorite things is get, getting everything off of the floor really, really helped and just opened up the space more, made it bigger. I just feel like it's less cluttered because I don't have any clothes hanging down here like on the floor and just everything looks neater. Um, I even love the empty spaces that we have, you know, here. Um, just looks so much nicer. We were able to switch out all of the hangers. They're all white. Like I said, I bought one packet. So other than that one packet, we had enough from what we purged um, to put in white hangers. But I definitely feel so much better. I feel f more free. My closet just feels refreshed and ready for the change of seasons, ready for fall. My mind feels less decluttered now that my closet is decluttered and I try to do this big purge once a year um, I think it's really important because if you think about it think of how many clothes you bring in throughout the year for various reasons like maybe you get clothes for Christmas or your birthday and then we naturally buy new clothes um, so that's why it's really important to get rid of some clothes because we're always bringing clothes in so it just feels good and like always now when I come in here I like I enjoy coming into my closet now that it's nice, decluttered, and organized. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram. It's linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.